Hey guys, I'm going to show you how to use this uh, camera. This is an iCamera 1000. This also goes for the same as the iCamera 2. These two models are used by ADT and Comcast Cable for their home security system. If you don't have their home security system anymore, but you got these cameras sitting around, and you're thinking, well, gee, it would be nice if I could use that camera, you know, without the home security system because I like the camera. Well, you can. Um, even though CIRCOM tried to lock them down so you can't log into the software, uh, you can still um, push commands to them. Uh, the first thing you do when you get these cameras from ADT or Comcast is you need to hard reset it. So both cameras have a reset button. You hold the reset button down for about 20 seconds and the camera will reboot. After it reboots, you want to plug the camera into power and then into the router with that low, white dongle that came with the camera. Now if the technician when he installed the camera did not leave the white dongle, which they probably won't because you don't need it, um, then you can still connect the camera um, to your network system but you only can do it through Wi-Fi. Which ain't too bad but if you get a lot of these it's gonna mess up your router um, eventually put a lot of lag on your your stuff um, the router can only handle so many devices and these things are constantly shoving video um, through your Wi-Fi that's like streaming video um, so you have to be careful on how many of these you do um, if you can find the white dongle that's great because then you can hardwire them and free up your your Wi-Fi um, it'll probably be a lot better but anyways after you reset it to get it into a Wi-Fi mode all you have to do is push that button on the back for three seconds, three to five seconds. This very last light will start flashing. Okay, when that starts flashing, you go to your router and you push the WPS button on the router, and then the two will sync together and it will always be connected to Wi Fi. And that's all you have to do. And then follow the instructions on the rest of this video on how to set up the other settings, like shut the lights off on the front. Uh, change the video quality, up the quality to, to the best quality you can get on there if you want. Change the frame rate. Uh, you can go up to 30 frames per second. Um, let's see what else can you do. You can change the brightness of the infrared lights for night vision. Um, I think right now it comes on normal, but I think there's like five settings, five or six settings. So you can put them all the way to high. So that makes the at night time it brightens up the room a little bit more. Um, change the username and password to get into the camera. So if someone gets the IP address to your camera, they can't just like log in with the default username, which is um, the username is uh, administrator with a small a, and the password's blank. So we're gonna change those settings. So the rest of the video, follow the, the steps through um, just to change some of the settings. And then you can log into this camera just by using your IP address and you can see the camera. And if you want to, you can download programs like Blue Iris or IP Cam Viewer to view the camera uh, remotely. So hopefully this helps, so stay tuned. Hey guys, we're back. Um, well, I'm back. Anyways, uh, the video, if you can't see the font on the screen, make sure you uh, make the video full screen and click on the little tool and make sure you display it in um, 1080 um, res that way you'll be able to see all the detail and you'll be able to read everything on the screen here I'm also gonna uh, copy all these commands and put them in the description so you'll just be able to copy and paste them from there rather than trying to type them all out it should make it easier for you so to get into the camera normally you would just type in the IP address and you would get this screen. Now, if you don't get this screen, that means that your camera got locked and, or not locked, but a new firmware update, at which locked the camera. Um, so you can't get in there. But <clears throat> you can send these git commands and you can force the info to the camera. Okay, okay, so the first part, I'm just gonna show you what's basically in here. Forgot what my password was. Okay, so basically you got all these um, 
options you can click on like there's video and audio there's events administrator and then inside those you got streaming like if we click on streaming now you have all this stuff you can change like the res and the format I always put it to uh, H.264 for better compression the quality and stuff like that that's the stuff you can't see with your camera so what you need to do is we just need the IP address right there and you'll see these commands like this one right here basically admin get group saying get the admin group basically so we copy that oops and we just paste it in right after the IP address there it is there's our info okay so the next one uh, let's go in order basically what I would like you to do is change the username change the password for the, the camera that way no one can see your stuff um, so change username right here so you take this copy it paste it in and where it says um, admin underscore name equals anything after equals that's what the value should be and then I always on mine I just make admin for now oops there we go and I'll click enter and it comes back with the okay the okay means that it took okay um, so that's already changed the password or the uh, the username and then here is the password basically same thing just copy that paste it in equals password here you could say um, admin again if you wanted to now my password is not admin um, it was something else so now next time I go to send a command I think uh, Firefox already knows what the username and password is for the camera and so it's saving it so now let's do one more turn password or turn video password check on okay so that's so no one can see the video unless they actually log into the camera that's very important so I paste that in one means it's on and then we click OK boom since I changed the password um, from whatever it was to admin now Firefox is like hey um, I don't know what the password is so now I just basically type it in remember it nah and let's just make sure it goes through yep and I still got the okay so if I didn't get the okay then something didn't go through okay so we have our username and password done and the video check so the next part is your video res and we are let's see we got frame rate there's your frame rate now you have a bit rate and you have a um, set quality okay and what they are and I'm not sure how to fix them uh, or to switch to which one so I always uh, have it set for very high quality okay which is on fixed quality I, I'm not sure how to actually get it over to bit rate um, so there's got to be a step in between to choose from these two and then you can change the bit rate um, the consistent bit rate um, 2000 20 or 2.5 is pretty decent um, but for now just use the levels 1 through 5 for quality and as you can see from here you got very low all the way up to very high so that will get you by so just use this one for now if you can't get into the camera maybe I'll find a fix on how to switch the two but you're not actually going to know if you're using consistent bitrate unless you can actually get into one of the cameras and see if the command that you send is working so don't worry about it um, and we have infrared brightness this one might come in handy for you that's under video and audio and as you can see I have mine set the strongest which is level 5 okay and that's about all you would really need you shouldn't need the one for set the Wi-Fi name because you should already be connected if you set Wi-Fi up but then you um, decide to hardwire it you might want to use this one here so that way it will always stay on the wired network 
um, and not kick over to Wi-Fi unless the wired connection drops so that's very important to switch this one uh, and there's some other things you can play with if you figure out some new commands or even if you figure out how to switch back and forth between consistent bitrate or the quality let me know um, all this information was um, found by looking up a guy named Terence Eden in the UK he is a computer programmer this is his blog page this is how I found about it and it was um, hacking around the network cameras and of course he, he's playing with some circom older cameras and um, he talks about the you know how to get in there and play with things and, and down below he starts talking about using um, git commands and stuff like that kind of like what we're using uh, I'm not sure whereabouts that pops up but there is some talk about it and I did find another page at one time um, that he had that he had a, like a list of git commands but he had like some there's like dollar signs or something in there and when I was trying to the git commands they weren't working um, so he's like oh just remove the dollar sign and I did and it worked just fine um, it was like a dollar sign like right there you know in between and that's what was causing the problem so yeah so he actually helped me figure out how it works basically you're getting into the certain groups like user and admins and then when you're an user and admin then you're changing the name you know if you go into system that's where the LED setting is stuff like that so very helpful thanks Terrence and uh, I sent him out some some cameras to play with um, hopefully found him useful I don't know if he's if he took them apart or what he did with them but uh, Terrence is a computer programmer so many props to him um, he's the one that uh, was able to make this possible so again if you have questions just throw them down below um, I'll answer them as soon as I can and um, this video again is only if you cannot get into the the camera settings and see all this so you can use those git commands alright hopefully it helps you guys uh, have a good day see ya